Hello, my name is Hannah Siebert. I'm from the Institute of Medical Informatics at the University of Lübeck and I'm presenting our work Architecture Matters, Evaluating Design Choices for Deep Learning Registration Networks. The work has been done together with Lasse Hansen and Matthias Heinrich. In the field of deformable medical image registration, the estimation of large deformations is still challenging. Meanwhile, there is a large variety of publications presenting different deep learning image registration networks, offering multiple suggestions for the design of architectures consisting of different architectural modules. This leads to the question how beneficial certain architectural design considerations are for the registration performance. We take a closer look at the impact of some basic network design choices in terms of the number of feature channels, the number of convolutions per resolution level, and the differences between partially independent processing streams for fixed and moving images and direct concatenation of input scans. We want to take a look at the impact of different architectural design ideas on the registration performance in order to finally propose an architecture for abdominal CT registration that combines the most convincing of the consideration examined. We take up the idea of several registration networks which include an unit architecture to learn deformations and we compare our results to the simple baseline network for unsupervised pairwise image registration voxel morph. Our investigations start with a registration model that is from its basic structure similar to voxel morph but with one difference that it contains fewer skip connections. The model concatenates fixed and moving images at the beginning and uses sequences of convolution followed by instance normalization and leaky redo. The central part of the architecture consists of a unit-like part using two skip connections. The first modification we make to this initial architecture is to double the number of feature channels of all convolution layers of the next book. We then extend the number of convolution instance norm ReLU sequences per resolution level to three. And finally, we propose a two-stream architecture with separate encoder blocks for fixed and moving image and their concatenated output as input for the unit part of the architecture. As we use monomodel data for our experiments, the weights are shared between the two encoders of this two-stream architecture. We train our models using a loss function, which ensures similarity of fixed and warped moving image and smooth deformation fields. To achieve similarity, we extract modality independent neighborhood descriptors with self-similar context from fixed and warped moving image and then calculate the mean squared error between them. To achieve smoothness and plausibility of deformations, we apply diffuse regularization. For our proposed two-stream architecture, we furthermore investigate the benefits of label supervision by further extending the loss function by computing the mean squared error between fixed and warped moving one-hot encoded label maps. For our experiments, we use the Learn to Rec Challenge dataset containing 30 abdominal CT scans with 13 manually labeled abdominal organs. The data has been linearly pre-registered and we resample the data to dimensions of 144 times 112 times 192 to reduce computational complexity. The data set is split into 20 training cases and 10 test cases. For evaluation, we consider all possible pairwise combinations of the test cases leading to 45 unique pairs. We train our networks using Adam and a learning rate of 10 to the power of minus 3 for 50,000 iterations. We compare the average dice overlap and properties of the Jacobian determinant as well as the inference time on GPU and the number of trainable parameters. 
Comparing the registration performance, only the best ones 3 Model C can achieve comparable performance to Voxelmorph, but here the deformation fields estimated by Voxelmorph are less smooth. With our unsupervised 2 3 model, we were able to achieve an average dice overlap of over 35% outperforming Voxelmorph by nearly 4 percentage points. When training with label supervision, the score could be further improved to almost 44%, which is competitive to many other approaches. This slide visualizes quantitative results for one image pair, warped using Voxelmorph, our unsupervised one stream and two stream architecture, and our label supervised two stream method. As conclusions, we investigated several architectures for deep learning based deformable image registration. And besides the expected observations that increased numbers of feature channels and convolution normalization activation sequences led to improved registration results, we found out that concatenating the features extracted by separate encoder blocks for moving and fixed image achieved better results than directly concatenating the input images. With this two-stream architecture, we were able to outperform the simple baseline network for unsupervised pairwise image registration Voxelmorph. And due to the fact that we performed our experiments on a labeled data set, we could further show that starting from the initial untrained case, including label supervision when training our model, led to a further increase of dice overlap. In the meantime, we have developed our method further in such a way that it is applicable for multimodal image registration and contains less parameters while concurrently leading to further improvement on the abdominal CT dataset used for this work. Thank you for watching.